Hi everyone, so today we'll talk about uh, the bird skeleton. So we're just looking at some general terms um, that are a bit unique for birds. Uh, there's one I want to, there's a few I want to point out that are, uh, we don't really see in mammalian skeletons necessarily, but um, we'll see in a lot of non-mammals, but birds tend to have them at least mounted. So for this one, this is the sclerotic ring, or sclerotic ossicles, uh, is a bone within the eye. You talk about them quite a bit in lecture. Um, this is about what we're going to get to in uh, in lab um, as far as sclerotic ossicles go. But they're pretty interesting. Um, they're for uh, muscle attachment and for maintaining the shape of the eye when the eye is not just like a sphere, like in mammals. Okay. Um, we go in down the neck. Then we got cervical vertebrae. That's nice. Um, we got several cer uh, fused vertebrae. But I want to point out. In this, in the arm, we've got a uh, humerus, radius, ulna, and then we have this structure. These are all fused. Uh, well, a vast majority of them are fused. This is the carpo metacarpus. So it's made up of carpals and metacarpals, um, and then the phalanges are out here. There's phalanges here, here, and, and this is the allula that has the fusion of phalanges and metacarpal, um, we think. <laughs> we'll double check um, before this goes up. So moving anteriorly um, a little bit, we're still in the pectoral girdle. This is the furcula. It is fused clavicles, and some people think that this might be uh, a fusion of a thing called an interclavicle, interclavicle to, uh, to the fused clavicles. It is the classic wishbone if you celebrate Thanksgiving and break the turkey's uh, furcula for reasons. Um, <laughs> anyway, we do. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Um, then this right here is the keel. This is the sternum uh, of, the, of the bird. So we got all the ribs attaching to the keel. Um, it's very large in flighted birds, but in things like uh, a ground birds, um, think more like a, like a rhea or an ostrich. It's going to be essentially absent, the keel part. Um, but you'll still see a sternum. It's kind of a flat plate of bone. This. These two bones on either side are the coracoids. Now coracoids are pretty normal in non-mammals, um, and you have a coracoid process on your scapula. It's just a coracoid fused to the scapula. Um, the scapula in the bird is actually up under this humerus in this, uh, in this position. It's very difficult to see. It's just like a very thin strap-like bone um, in this case. But yeah, coracoid. Okay, so moving posteriorly, uh, if you look at this, this is referred to the joint pelvis plus sacrum that birds have is called the sin sacrum because everything is fused together. Um, so you have the ilium, ischium is down here, and the pubis is right here. It's sort of tough to see when you first look at it, but then once you're more familiar, you just kind of pick out these things. Um, that's the way it is with a lot of anatomy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the sin sacrum because it is all one fused unit. We're going to move down the hind limb. So we got the femur, that's normal. Uh, we have a fibula that's pretty reduced. And then the tibia is not just a tibia. It's a tibia, um, it is the tibio tarsus. So the tarsals, the proximal tarsals, have fused to the distal tibia in birds. Um, there are a couple of diagrams in your lab manual with the phylogenetics exercise that sort of document um, this transition in the theropod dinosaurs. So you see some where they have a f the tarsals are fused together, um, and then you see some where the tarsals are pretty well sutured onto the end of the tibia. And then in birds, they just fuse completely, um, but they do start out separate as embryos. Now, after that tangent, uh, let's <laughs> move more distally. So we've got uh, the distal tarsals fuse to the metatarsals. So it is the tarso metatarsus um, because it is a fusion of those multiple bones. And the rest of these are just phalanges. And we have one more thing to point out, and that is on the tail. This is a bunch of fused caudal vertebrae. This is the pygo style. Um, is a very unique term. It is very unique, the, well, I shouldn't say it's unique to birds, but there are several 
clades of theropod dinosaurs that um, develop a pika style, uh, but birds are unique in being the only ones around anymore, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and they have it. <laughs> so if you take a look at the rib cage of the bird, um, you might notice f some extra bone <laughs> that you might not have in a lot in most mammals. Um, and that's these. These are the uncinate processes. They help with um, breathing. Birds don't have diaphragms like mammals do, so they um, will expand and contract the rib cage in a, different, a slightly different way from mammals um, that that helps them with breathing. That does it for the bird. Take care, everyone. Um, see you in lab.